page 19 and we're doing um, task 8 which is the endless execution. Now endless execution is what most programs you're used to actually work like. A lot of the stuff, in fact all of the stuff we've been doing so far have completed a task up to a point and then they're finished. Whereas this will just keep running forever. So you know it might be a clock that keeps putting up the time whatever the time is. It might be showing you what the temperature is. It just it keeps going. So back at the start of the um, code we've got this begin. Now begin is like a marker or a signpost and you know what it could be called anything. In an earlier example it was called start. So begin then we're writing to the window enter a number we're saving the variable as num because it's reading it. Uh, we're working out what the remainder is if we're dividing it by 2 and if it's 0 then we're writing it's even and if it's not or else so, you know, if the condition is not true, write the number is odd, end if, and go to begin. So it goes from here all the way back to the start. So it just keeps asking you the question. So let's grab that code. I'll just um, fire up the compiler. Uh, we'll grab that code and run it. And what I'm predicting that it will do is just keep asking me about numbers and tell me whether they're odd or even. And I'm going to fix up that capital letter because that's going to bug me. Because I do think that um, when you're writing your code you also want to be careful with your written expression. Because even if your code is elegant, it makes you look like a dummy if, you, um, if your writing's all over the place. And you know, it's best not to look like a dummy any more than you have to in life. So, just fixing up those capitals. So where are we? Even, small e, odd, small o, let's run it and see if it works. So it's compiling the script. Enter a number, 23. Todd, enter a number, 20, even, um, 1987, odd, and so forth. So that'll just keep going around forever, and the way to close it is by closing um, the actual window it's running in. So now I'm going to um, do my own. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to throw out all of that script, and I'm going to go back up to this one here, Saw it just a minute ago. Enter the number. No, that's not it. Ah, if the clock is this. Okay. So, here's the program to tell me whether it's good morning or good afternoon. And I'm just going to fix up the, the stuff there because um, it offends me when it's wrong. Now, it doesn't actually, it's not afternoon after midday. It's um, after, sorry, it's not evening after midday. So here's what I'm going to do. At the very start of the code, I'm going to put in start, um, colon, and then down the bottom, I'm going to say go to, start. Now I'm going to run my code. And what I'm expecting it will do uh, is just keep saying afternoon world. There you go and when it finally turns around to being the morning it will start filling the screen with good afternoon morning. Now what I, what I might want to do is put in some waiting code in there so that it isn't writing it constantly, maybe it checks once a minute, maybe it checks every half an hour or so because that flickering is a pretty ugly outcome. But anyhow that's how you use the endless execution and you get your program going constantly.